So this is our manifesto. In my dream, I smell the barbecue. Everything has gone to shit. The Nazi war machine is advancing at an astonishing rate. Hit the bionicle dream again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I hit the jewel, I got some goals I sold a little weed, but I could never sell my soul When I'm in LA, you find me all in little coat Come up, I'll go in my ramen, I'ma need another bowl, let's go Okay, for real this time. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm here in my humble Christmas home in Midwestern America. Speaking of Christmas, I got you a Christmas present. Oh, really? You did? Well, I'm so honored. I can't wait to open it up and see what it is. Oh, no way. No way. You got me 50 cent blood on the sand? How did you know, Dwayne? Yo, 50, jump over that big ass rim. <laughs> Wait a minute, Dwayne, there's no disc in here. It's just the Nostalgia Critics review of the Nutcracker. The oh, wait, this is Bob Shaw's review. Oh, I'm fucking stupid. Wait, no, this is Film Brain's review. No, wait, this is Musical Hell's review. I don't even know who that is. Wait a minute, no, this is actually a copy of the Nutcracker, the Untold Story. D fuck you, Dwayne. Do you know how much blood on the sand is nowadays? So, uh, the Nutcracker, the Untold Story. Maybe it should have stayed that <laughs> way. This review's already extremely unfunny. Originally known as the Nutcracker in 3D, is directed by this guy who is a Russian art house director and is an adaptation of the Nutcracker. More like a uh, D's nuts. nuts, which is a Christmas classic that really isn't that good anyway. You gotta understand, I'm a Christmas with the uh, Cranks uh, kind of uh, guy. And similar to movies that I've reviewed on this channel, like Rise Gamer. of the Fellowship and Max Steel, this is one of those weird, obscure movies I found that I've always wanted to cover. And trust me, uh, shit gets weird. So let's talk about the Nutcracker, the New Order. So our film begins with the worst fade in cut I've ever seen. Ah uh, yes, uh, the Premiere Pro dip to black. So we get this fancy establishing shot, I guess. And this guy falls over. We then cut to Mary and Max, who are the two lead characters, and who are setting up for Christmas, I guess. So Max lights an ornament on fire for no reason, and then he dives behind the tree, and Maria's all like, "Max, you're a fucking moron." Well, what were you even trying yeah, to achieve, you fucking idiot? We then cut to the dad, who's taking his wife out to, I don't know, a Playboy Cardi concert. We also meet Uncle Albert, who's supposed to be Albert Einstein. And no, I'm uh, not joking at all about that. Such a beautiful city, don't you see? It looks like shit. But you know, I have the strangest feelings that we are being followed. I have to drop something. <laughs> So Albert arrives at Mary and Max's home, but their parents leave, making Mary very sad. So she starts bitching about it, I guess. But thankfully, Uncle Albert has some presents for her. So this Morn King guy walks in. As you can see, these men are having a spike. Uh, yeah, it's for 60 weeks. So Albert gives them a dollhouse, and in this house are Monkey, a uh, Blackface, and Big Chunk. But he also has one more gift, and that's... What the fuck is this thing? Meat. The Nutcracker. These nuts. So, uh, this is the Nutcracker. You know what? Really interesting decision to make him a GTA 4 mod. So they all go to the kitchen. But then Max gets curious and tries fitting all of these nuts into the yo, Nutcracker's yo, yo, yo. mouth. He then breaks the toy, I guess. Which makes Mary very upset. I want my Nutcracker first! Max, I don't dare you! Anyways, Albert then fixes the Nutcracker. And Max is all it's like... It's just a stupid toy! No, it's not! I mean, you've only known him for about, like, five seconds, but okay. Albert then sings a song number, I guess. And I kid you not, the song number is the Sugar Plum Fairy with lyrics retrofitted into it. Never mind after if it broke it all, it it wasn't pain. I'm not even joking, this is probably one of the worst song numbers I've ever heard in my fucking life. Just listen to that chorus, it's literally jank. Now my question is, where were these guys on Donda? I want Nathan Lane on Off the Grid immediately. Anyways, Albert puts the kids to bed, and Mary's like, "Good night, Uncle Albert," but he's gone. Whoa! So she starts looking for him. She then talks to the Nutcracker, only for the Nutcracker to start speaking. Is uh, that the voice we're giving him? And what do you mean you're used to it? How many times have you been broken, dude? You can talk. Of course I can talk. Fortnite on Trinko. So then he's all like, If you really want to see something amazing, put me up somewhere high in the room. So Mary does. This allows the Nutcracker to fall <laughs> over and that allows him to grow, I guess. You're really special. Please welcome the new member of Young Way Club. It's the first time I've seen a Napoleon Nutcracker. Please don't call me Nutcracker. I hate that name. What, what a, a fucking, fucking dickhead. Don't call me Nutcracker. That name is so mid. Just call me NC. What? NC? No. NC. NC? Does he remember it so you don't have to? <laughs> <laughs> N. 
Wow, so cool. You wrote your initials in a weird way. Three minutes into meeting our title character, and I already hate him. Oh, needn't concern you. Girls are no good at military strategy. Hello, base department? So they walk downstairs, and everything is way wow. bigger now. They then go to the dollhouse, where all the toys are now alive. And not only are they alive, but they're also completely obnoxious. So the dick suckers are like, Shut up! and he talks to the toys, and that's about it. My favorite one's the stereotype. Oh, God, oh, but whoa, whoa, whoa. It looks, Your Highness, as if you have a plan. I got a plan. The plan is this: we're going in to fight against the rat king. Uh, that is an objective, not a plan. They then get in this thing, and Mary's all like, "Wow, this is so cool!" And she's also all like, "Why do they call you Your Highness?" Oh, uh, uh, no real. They then reach the top and meet this person. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So apparently this is Mary's mother, but also oh, isn't? You look exactly like my mother. But I'm not. Oh, you thought I was joking? No, no I wasn't. This is some real Death Stranding type shit. You're the Snow Fairy, aren't you? <laughs> Who else would I be? Who the fuck is the Snow Fairy? So Mary flies with these things, I guess. I can fly! What the fuck? This was never established. Except for some dumbass CGI bullshit and YO! The Snow Queen's all like, There is something I want to tell you about NC. That terrible creature, the Rat Queen, cast him under a bad spell. Not entirely sure why the Nutcracker was embarrassed by this. And not only is this contrived, but it also leads into exposition. Wouldn't it be more interesting if the Nutcracker talked about this? She's so awful, I can barely bring myself to say her name. You literally said her name twice. We then get another garbage song number. Oh, do you and as she sings, the Nutcracker becomes real, I guess. And he goes back in the Bugatti, and he's now a real boy. You're a boy. Not just a boy. Ask for his pronouns first. So he's a real boy now, I guess. Now, I have a plan. I have a plan. But some rats are spying on them. Oh, no. Our main characters then go upstairs, I guess. And we get a Death Stranding lore dump about the rats taking over the world, I guess. Which is when we're introduced to Nazi rats. Huh? Bruh, what the fuck? We then cut to the Nazi rats, where we meet John Turturro, who is literally hit. Yeah, you heard me right. So he interrogates this guy and goes into a song number. Yeah, there's a no way around this. Every other review complains about this, and I'm going to as well. This is fucking tone deaf. Not only is the Nazi allegory extremely on the nose in this children's movie, but it's also handled with zero nuance. Like, I don't know about you, but it's kind of inappropriate to have Nazi allegory, and yet every scene with them is just complete slapstick. Anyways, back to the diesel punk Nazis. Wait, did Wolfenstein rip this shit off? Wait, what the fuck? How could he do that? Anyway, so John Turturro does a trippy red impression, and that's about it. Ran the world so badly that they bled. But then these guys come in, and they're all like, oh, the Nutcracker is human now, or something. So Rat Hitler goes to his mom, who is the Rat Queen, who is crazy and old and a Nazi. Wait, did Wolfenstein rip this shit off? We then cut to robot dogs. Okay, it's not even subtle anymore. And meanwhile, because the Rat Queen is drinking rat juice, it turns the Nutcracker back into a toy, which then causes... Bruh. Yeah, apparently it was a dream the whole time. Uh, fuck you. So the dad's all like, who turned on certified lover boy? And Mary's all like, it was the rats. And because this is a generic kids movie, the dad's all like, I don't fuck believe no in rats. Give me that doll. Give me that shit. So Mary heads upstairs and sings a shitty song number, and that's about it. We then cut to Albert, who's all like, you know, I have the strangest feeling that something is wrong at Mary's house. No! 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 This film literally days sex mocking at me. Are you kidding me? Does this film have zero shame? So Albert goes to Mary's parents' house, and he's all like, "Albert, you are ruining my daughter by teaching her fairy tales." You do nothing but fill her head with fairy stories. If you couldn't tell, Albert, I'm an atheist who eats baby fetuses. Do you even know who Big Chungus is? So in response to this, Albert, I kid you not, sings a song about a fucking rock. What's in your pockets? Why, my Breaking cock, of bass. course! More specifically, the dad has a magic pebble he keeps- he It's a song about a rock! It's, it's about a rock! A precious pebble! It's about drive, it's about power! We stay hungry, we devour! Cheeseburgers! 
So apparently the dad is so sad that he starts fucking crying. But thankfully, Albert has a stupid ass pebble. And the scene ends and yeah, that's it. So cut to Mary sleeping. She's now dreaming with the Nutcracker in her dream again, I guess. But now I guess Max is here too. And now they're all ready to face the Rat King. So they go back to the living room, but uh-oh, the Nutcracker is held a hostage by the Rat King, who also has all the other characters held a hostage. Oh no. This is the fine fellow who broke my nut. So he's torturing the toys like Vaz in Far Cry 3. I like this phone. This is a nice fucking phone. But then there's, I kid you not, a fucking jump scare in the movie. <laughs> yeah, uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Wow! Can you do that again, please? I love FNAF! <laughs> I was acting. So the Rat King kidnaps all the toys, and Max joins them because the Rat King has a motorcycle. Even have a special rat bike for you to ride. A rat bike with a motor? Max, come back! I'll be right back, man. This is the dumbest fucking kid of all time. He watched all these toys get brutally tortured and yet fucking motorcycle. But thankfully, Mary meets up with the Monkey Man, and they both go through this Super mirror into Nazi Germany. What the fuck even is this piece of shit? The Rat King wants to turn everyone rat. This is so fucking stupid. But then Uncle Albert is here for no reason. He points them in the right direction, meaning they deus ex mocking at us twice. So they go to the center of town where there's a mass toy burning, and the Rat King gives an aid. Adolf Hitler styled speech, but it's also a song number. I'm not joking about this. Takes control of Squidward's house and begins attacking the city. Once again, completely tone deaf. Oh yeah, six million people died? Here's a tap dancing number. But then Max is like, I don't want to break toys. Really weird how he's complaining about it now when the Rat King was torturing toys earlier in the movie. I swear, this is the dumbest fucking kid in existence. So the Rat King takes Max away, I guess. And Mary sneaks into this furnace. Where she meets up with the other toy side characters. They also see the Nutcracker getting dragged away. So the side characters distract the rats with a, another Super song Idol. number? Why aren't they killing them? So this contrivance allows Mary to save the Nutcracker. And Mary's all like... Oh, no, 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 no. But then the Snow Fairy comes down and is all like... Last time their power overwhelmed me. And then she leaves. Glad to know that wasn't completely pointless. But through the power of fuck you, he comes back to life, I guess. And he's a boy too. Oh, wow. This causes the concentration camp. Not joking. To rebel. Wait, did Wolfenstein rip the shit off again? So the Rat King's all like, How did they break the spell? And the Rat Queen's all like, Who knew somebody could love a chunk of wood? In other words, Oh, it's the power of love or something. <laughs> they also hatch an escape plan involving a helicopter. This is important for later. So the Rat King jump scares his way to the concentration camp. There's a big epic action fight scene, which long story short leads to Mary hiding in the elevator. Well, the Nutcracker completely abandons her. I've got a plan! God damn plan! But then a flying man jams the elevator, which then leads to the Rat King approaching the elevator and jump scaring his way into it. So he eats the elevator. Yeah, this isn't <gasps> scary. But in all fairness, I mean, the kids are into Five Nights at Freddy's. Anyway, so the Rat King takes Mary away, and he's all like, Seems your precious prince left you all alone. No. But then the Nutcrackers are like, I'm right here, mate! And he pulls this lever and brutally murders a bunch of Nazis in cold blood. Kind of a base scene, honestly. And then, um, the Uncharted set piece. But it sadly doesn't work and the Rat King gets away with Mary. Meanwhile, the other rats are planning an escape. And Max is all like, I can fly the Nazi helicopter! And get this, the Rat Queen falls for it. He doesn't even give a convincing argument or anything. I can fly silver ones. I can fly any flying machine in the world. So they let him start the helicopter. Not only is this kid two whole years old, but he's also a hostage. Why do they trust him? This movie is oh. fucking stupid. So the Rat King and Mary get on the helicopter, and the helicopter takes off. But then Mary and Max open the hatch. Why the rats didn't build the helicopter differently or tie the hostages up so this wouldn't happen is beyond me. Long story short, so I can wrap this shitty ass video up. The Nutcracker gets on the helicopter, and there's a jump scare fight scene, and they crash land the helicopter. And then Rat Hitler and Queen Rat turn into normal rats. What am I even describing? I feel like I'm fucking schizophrenic. And they run away into the sewers. And we get one last song number celebrating the death of the Nazis. Can we get much higher? So the Snow Fairy then comes out and is all like, I'm sorry, Mary. 
but it's time for you to go home. And Mary's all like, but I don't want to go home. In per generic story tropes, she goes home anyways. You have to go. Mary then wakes up and is really sad. And the dad's all like, are you dreaming, dude? And he's also all like, I'm no longer rat atheist. <laughs> Mary then goes downstairs and meets Uncle Albert. And it turns out the Nutcracker is now in real life. Mary, I would like you to meet my new neighbor, Nicholas Charles. They call me They then ice skate together, and uh, yeah, that's that's the movie. The end. So a lot of people consider this to be the worst Christmas movie ever. But I'm gonna let you in on a secret. This title, it's clickbait. Because this is not the worst Christmas movie ever. It's just one of them. But if this were someone's least favorite Christmas movie, I could certainly see why. Now, I don't doubt the passion behind this movie. Andre Call of Chernobyl is a very talented director. At least I think. I think he is. I heard this movie was pretty good. And there are good moments in this movie. The guy who plays as the dad is really good. Nathan Lane is really good, but it's also Nathan Lane. He's the fucking goat in anything. The visual effects and cinematography is also really good. It may not be exactly Christmassy, but the dystopian diesel punk parts look really dystopian. But here's the problem. Creatively, Andre Call of Pripyat went way too far. Having this really nearly tasteless Nazi allegory in the movie. Not that World War II allegory can't work, but it's so tone-deaf and on the nose here that it comes off more like shock value that completely undermines just how fucked up the Nazis actually were. This film is also filled to the brim with just contrivances. Things just kind of happen for no reason in this movie. And this film has so many plot holes that it begins to look like Swiss cheese. The puppet Nutcracker is also really annoying. So are most of the characters. The dialogue is really bad. The song numbers are the worst I've ever heard. And all the positives of this movie are wasted on being in this god-awful movie. I hope Andre Clear Sky has a good career, but this was clearly one massive misstep. So, uh, that's the video, I guess. Unless, uh, you want to say something, Dwayne. You didn't understand the happy- movie. Oh, great. Doug's here. Doug, no one gives a shit about your pretentious Christmas message. There's a lot of people out there who don't associate Doug, Christmas- Doug, it was a pagan with holiday. They, they fucked massively during Christmas. It's not even a- You know what? I'm leaving. Fuck this. I just wanna go to a Walmart at 3 a.m. Empty parking lot, steal a shopping cart, and then ride around to busting MCR. We're drunk as fuck, so we crush the fucking car. All I want to be.